honoring a titan. Political powerhouses, personal friends, and past presidents pay tribute to Representative John Conyers. I'd like to thank the people of Detroit for electing him 27 times. And take a live look right now from Sky 4 as Conyers' funeral procession makes its way from Greater Grace Temple to his burial site at Detroit Memorial Park at 13 Mile and Ryan in Warren. The list of speakers today paying their last respects is a lengthy who's who of civil rights leaders, Detroit politics, and dear friends. They honored him for his impact not only on Detroit, but on the entire nation. Paula Tutman live at Greater Grace Temple, where the service wrapped up just a short while ago. Paula. Hi, good evening to you. Yeah, and that shot that you just showed of that procession, there really is a time clock on it right now because they're trying to beat darkness because of daylight savings time. Keep in mind that uh, Congressman Conyers was a Korean War vet. He served more than 50 years in Congress. He's being buried with full military honors, and they're not able to do that 21-gun salute in the dark, and that's what they're trying to get to. In the meantime, very a, a very, very touching service today. Wife Monica Conyers said little and instead allowed her husband to speak for himself at his funeral. Following your heart, doing what your conscience tells you is right, and trying to make this a better place wherever you are. For the funeral of retired Congressman John Conyers, the mighty. To me, he was my friend. You know, he was a firebrand on civil rights, anti-war, fighting for jobs. I worked with him on the Chrysler rescue. But the truth is, when I was with him, he was very mellow, calm, had that soft voice. Everybody liked him. We honor him today, and we remember his services to our nation. The meek. It is a high honor for me um, to pay tribute to one who has helped all of us so very much in this country, in this city. He stood up for all of us, and I'm here to stand up for him. Even the musical came to pay homage. This man spent his entire life climbing mountains. Yes, people that never imagined in their lifetime there would be something that he made possible with his vision. More than a congressman, he was also a dad. My dad was goofy, man. Like. Maybe, you know, being on the politics side of it, you might not always seen it, but like he was just a really, really goofy, fun guy. Like he was always smiling. Who often sacrificed family time for the family of citizens. For a man who served the public for closer to 60 years with military service in the Korean War and more than 50 years in the halls of Congress and the mountains he climbed for those who needed a voice. For you, John. My son. More a celebration than a sadness. And when Stevie Wonder finally sang, even wife Monica Conyers sang along. La, 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 la. You know, with more than 50 years of service to the community, really close to 60 years when you include the military, for all of those who thought they may know Congressman John Conyers, certainly today there were moments in which people got to know him a little better through his friends, family, loved ones, supporters, the meek, the mighty, and the musical. Guys, back no to you. No doubt. Been quite a day indeed. All right, Paula.